Uh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rusty78609 with a plane flying overhead. Just as I start the video, seven kamikaze pilots decided to take a flying exercise. But anyway, the invention, the uh, hard spot to get to invention, this is a beer 30 deal here, beer 30. It's actually a beautiful day here on my patio. It's about 71 degrees, little breeze, but in the little breeze, that's why I've got my windbreaker on. And, uh, but you know, the, the air is really dry. The, the humidity is low. Man, I'm telling you, if you don't keep drinking beer, your whole mouth could dry up. I'm telling you, your tongue could fall out hard as a rock. Mm, mm, mm. That's my first one. However, I have received numerous comments about the invention of the hard to get to spots cleaning device that I made. And uh, I know it, need, it needs some improvement. Some of it, one guy or two, a couple of you suggested welding it on here, but uh, you know, an acetylene welder might work i'm not sure an arc welder i'm not good at arc welding i've tried it before but uh and somebody also su suggested super glue i mean i've had a million suggestions i didn't realize how far off the mark i was until i saw what you guys came or came up with but no this is it but the plan was so good man you see how this would fit right in a drill I mean, I, in my mind, I could just see it turning, you know what I mean? Just turning, 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 and cleaning, cleaning. All I had to do, just point it and clean, point it and clean. Well, guys, version one, uh, actually, it got the spot cleaner. It's not worse. I, mean, I, I, did, I didn't do any damage, you know what I mean? It's like Google, you know, do no evil or something is their m mantra. But having said that, uh, what else can I say? Uh, version version two. I've got a plan. Uh, believe me, I do have a plan. It, it's probably not going to work, but I got a plan. <laughs> you know, but, I mean, I actually dreamed this. You know, I was laying there in bed. I say I dreamed. I was sitting there, kind of daydreaming, and because uh, I do that every now and then. I sit and just think. God, I ought not do it sometimes. But I was just sitting there thinking, and it occurred to me that there, that I needed. To, I had just cleaned the shower, and there was one spot I couldn't get to. Well, I could, but it was just damn difficult. So I decided that I would create a device to get to it. Now I know y'all, people have suggested all kind of, kind of cleaning solvents and, and vinegars and stuff and mixes and stuff to put in there and let it dissolve. But I don't want to dissolve the fiberglass. I mean, I, mean, I just want to get that one spot clean. I mean, it's not that hard to get to the, to the rest of them. But, uh, but anyway, Beer 30, February the 1st, 2020, believe it or not. I got something in my eye. I'm not sure if I got something. You know, you ever have an eyelash fall off in, in your eye? You know, get an eyelash in your eye? Boy, that's aggravating. You know, our own body sometimes turns against us. I mean, it's amazing, you know. And, of course, when you get older like I am, if you bump your skin, you'll bump against something, uh, your arms particularly, uh, you'll, it'll bleed under the skin, and if you bump it too hard, or not that hard, but it'll tear your skin, and you'll bleed on your clothes and ruin a nice shirt. And here comes some old cattle down here from the ranch that way. Yeah, it's an old cow. It's old Judy. That's what I call her. That's my last wife's name, Judy. And this one's named Judy. She comes by every now and then, and haunts me <laughs> afternoon judy you can't see her i can little hippie looking thing mm. anyway guys oh somebody suggested you know I, I i like to watch driving videos i know some of you do too and there is a, a YouTube channel, and the, it's a truck driver, and it's called Riding Shotgun. And he's pretty good. It's all just him driving his truck. He doesn't have any music, or as far as I can tell. And, uh, yeah, he just gets into it driving in his truck and goes through snow and all kind of crap. As he, You know, whatever he runs into, you, you get to see it. And it's pretty good. 
I mean, a uh, common sense guy, he calls California California. <laughs> yeah, I, I can relate to that. I mean, I, you know, I don't know anything. I, I, I don't know anything about California, but. Oh, the, the uh, Pixel 3a uh, problem resolved itself. They denied my buyer's remorse claim, which they had approved Thursday last week. Uh, I got a, I called them today and said, well, you know, where's the refund? They said, well, uh, they, they would contact me by email. See, nobody wanted to tell me over the phone. <laughs> so they sent me an email and said, said your buyer's remorse a uh, refund had been denied. Well, you know, so what, you know, and, the, and, and here's your option. Do nothing. Keep the phone you have that doesn't work. Or option two, they'll send you another phone. And, uh, and, and they also in the email they sent me, they said, but, and we guarantee you that if we send you, I guarantee you, if we send you another phone, that the issues that you've had will be resolved in the phone you receive. And I said, well, fine, send me another phone. I mean, if it works and does everything you say it will, that's fine with me. And uh, But anyway, so what are the issues that need to be resolved? I'll just give them to you real quick. First of all, it has to be able to shoot video in 720p resolution because when I ordered the phone, they told me, yeah, you could, it had, they had three levels, 720p, 1080p, and full, and, and full HD or whatever they call it, ultra HD or some crap. And I said, well, I need 720p, no problem. It comes with that. And then what else? You know, of course, it, and they also said the external mic would work perfectly. And I didn't ask any questions about any of the other stuff. And, of course, I got the phone, and first thing I noticed, the uh, external mic doesn't work. You can't shoot in 720p. Well, the first one, you could. The external mic worked, and the 720p worked, but the speaker phone didn't work. And also, the, there was no ringtone. And they said that's a software issue, so they sent me another phone. Well, I got that. That resolved the ringtone issue and the speakerphone issue, but then the external mic didn't work, and it was an upgraded version of some kind, and it didn't have the 720p option. So they sent me another phone. Uh, let's see, how many replacements have I had? I've had two, two replacements, is that right? Yeah. Yeah, and the, the one coming will be the fourth phone I've had. So, yeah, that makes it right. But having said that, that's another problem. That, uh, or yeah, That's life. And you know what's crazy? Have you ever heard the phrase, much ado about nothing? That's kind of wh where this is, I hate to tell you. Do I really need, I mean, do I really need that phone? No. Do I want it? I'm not sure of that. Uh, I mean, how many phone calls do you get in a, in a day, Rusty? None, unless it's a telemarketing call. How many text messages do you send and receive in a 24-hour period? Average? One? <laughs> so what's the real problem? There isn't a problem. I mean, it's all right here. You know, that marketing works. You know what I mean? Got in my head. I thought, man, I just got to get me one of those. Oh, I created it. You know, it's like everything. We create a reason. We go buy it, and then we get it. We don't need the goddamn thing. Excuse my French. Yeah, but it's uh, it's the way we do. I mean, you, you know, you, you, none of us are immune to advertising and marketing and peer pressure. We're not. I don't care. You know, you can be a hermit out in the middle of the, uh, on the Terlingua Ranch in West Texas, and uh, you'll be sitting there with a smartphone. You don't even have a signal. <laughs> Excuse me. I hear you, man. But I was sitting here talking to myself. Oh, shit, I'll talk to y'all for a while. Yeah, the, it's calm now. The wind calmed down now, so I really don't need this thing on, this windbreaker. But earlier, it was just a slight breeze. And uh, tomorrow's supposed to be a little warmer. I may do a triking video to... Tomorrow, I was going to do one today, but I got, oh, here's something else. Because I thought they were sending my money back at Google, I ordered and received today an uh, 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 LG G4. Thank goodness it only cost 90 bucks. Uh, you know, I mean, it's not like I'm deep in, but it was, it, you know, it came in a brand new box and, you know, it looked like they told me it was brand new. It, I know it ain't. 
I mean, it, it's in an LG box. It's got everything. It looks just like you had just ordered it in, in, in uh, five years ago. Uh, however, uh, I mean, it, then it works. I mean, I set it up. I, I haven't uh, tied it in with Verizon yet. I haven't put a, a SIM card in it yet uh, because, uh, you know, this phone I've got, the LG G4, that was having the firmware problem or firmware update problem, and, and whenever the firmware update was, was happening, uh, the uh, phone wouldn't work at all. And to turn the firmware update off, you had to do some tricks that I happened to find out on, uh, on Google by doing Google search. You want to see a pretty Longhorn? I'll change this up because I'm reading about Longhorn cattle and cattle drive. Give me a minute here, guys. Hang on. Get a good look at my belly button while I do this, and I'll see if I can show you that old cow over it's not a it's not a steer it hell see if i can get the phone out here come on out thing there we go anyway let's see what i got got here hang with me guys i'm just shooting the breeze here i don't know if you can see her or not and naturally i got my there it is uh, she's right in here and naturally you can't see her horns because she's turned come on up here cow Found some grass and she's gone loony on me. Loco grass, loco weed, what she's got into now, I guess. Let's go over here and see if we can find, see this cow. Show you a Texas Longhorn. Bonafide, you can get papers on her. Texas Longhorn. Walking across my property, here's my junk pile out here. Let me get this thing zoomed out again. There we go. Good video, huh? Oh, let me walk through over here. Not so many cactus over here. See what I got to walk through to get over there? My grandson planted this. Because see, if you, if you, if he was chopping some cactus up, you understand? And uh, I said, well, son, there, you see her right here? Let's get a good, she's looking now. You got her now, you got her. That's a bona fide Texas Longhorn, ladies and gentlemen. That goes way back in Texas history and U.S. history to about the 1800s somewhere, maybe. And they had those uh, trail drives all the way up to Dodge City, Kansas, into Montana, South Dakota, delivered to the Indian reservations. I can't imagine herding 3,000 head of that. No. Not old Rusty. You know, when they got into the Herefords, the Shorthorns wasn't too bad. But that old cow there, my God, that, that, that wingspan on those horns is about at least six feet. And she started turning and swinging that head. She cut a horse up like he, like he hit it with a knife. I hope I've got it on the cow. Because on this side, the screen's real dark because the sun's shining right in my eyes. Yeah, that's a Texas Longhorn, ladies and gentlemen. Live in color from Rusty's patio. No additional charge. I don't know what she's found there. Apparently there's some grass there in that little old ditch. Oh, that cow right there, how much that cow weigh? I'm gonna guess a thousand pounds. Could be more, because that's all muscle. And that's big, that's a big old cow. Man, she's gonna come up to the fence here and talk to us now. I just hope y'all can see her. All I can see is black on this side. Zoom out just a wee bit, make it clearer. Maybe. Not much I can say to add to that, other than I wish she'd hurry up and do something so I can get to my beer. That's the only thing that concerns me is taking a swallow of my beer right now. She's, she's costing me beer time. Oh, that's good. 
Well, that's what I watch off my patio, ladies and gentlemen, in the evening, afternoons, like right now. Listen to the dogs bark, watch the old cows graze, or crop grass, that's what you all say, I guess. And the reason the old uh, cattle men were so aggravated with the sheep herders is uh, sheep and goats, too, they'll graze that grass so low to the ground that the, the cattle can't get to it. You know, the, the grass has to be about an inch high for the cattle to get anything, maybe longer. And, uh, and the sheep and the goats will graze it right down to the dirt. So the cattle starve to death. So there was, that's why there was a big war between the cattlemen and the sheep herders, not, uh, among other things. I know you wanted to know that. You see how she going through that brush with those horns? I can hear them uh, at night sometimes when it's cool enough to have the windows open. I can hear them out here breaking through the brush with those long horns. They'll break limbs off of trees, old dead limbs. I'm not sure how this is turning out, guys. Anyway, let me go back to the patio, guys. This is too too much stress for old dad. But anyway, back to the story, all this cactus here. My grandson, who, who knows nothing about cactus, and I didn't know it either at the time, at his age, if, if you cut that cactus up or knock those ears off or whatever you want to call it, and you throw those around on the ground, wherever they land, uh, another cactus will grow. You got me? I mean, it, 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 you don't kill it by cutting it up. You actually encourage it. You know, I just found something here. I found my putter from, you know, from whenever they burglarized my house. I had a, a long putter, and here it is out here. <laughs> they threw it off the patio. See right here? <laughs> here it is out here laid in this grass. You dirty, never mind. I wish I'd have been here to invite them to a party with the mind changer. Anyway, I even found the head cover. Well, let's head on back to the patio, guys. Or the patio. Oh, there's my golf bag right there. <laughs> boy, I tell you, I owe somebody something, don't I? I owe them, boy. I owe. I owe. Off to work I go. Kids, I guess, doesn't matter. That was yesterday and yesterday's gone. There's my lovely spot. There's my fire pit. I use it occasionally, mainly just to burn big boxes and stuff. Every now and then I'll put a fire in it, not often. And then you're gonna say, well, why don't you do a video of you sitting around the fireplace? Cause it doesn't turn out good at all. It looks like, it just looks like a fire, like the ones on YouTube. So there's my putter, guys. After all these years, by this time I find it. I knew they'd thrown it somewhere because I found some of the other clubs out there. Oops, excuse me. Some of the other clubs out there in the grass. Anyway, guys, I'll end the video now. Mama's done all she can do out there grazing, cropping grass and put on her show. And I'm going to close mine out by telling you that if you ever need something invented, you know, if you're having a problem with anything and, and you can define it well enough, I promise you I can probably come up with an idea that will cost you a lot of money and won't work. <laughs> so having said that, guys, from Central Texas, USA, on a beautiful, beautiful February 1st, 2020, this is Rusty78609 saying thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy anything you want, anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products. I sincerely appreciate it. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk, take deep breaths, do all those things to keep your health that I talk about at the end of comment call every day. And you'll feel a lot better. It don't cost you a penny. 
got a nice view here. I mean, I know. I mean, I, I mean, having driven through cities on my last trip down in the valley or down towards the border of Texas, uh, man, I, I'm glad I'm not living in a city. I mean, I know some of you are, and you're trapped like I was 40 years ago. Uh, but you can get out of that mess if you want to. Anyway, adios amigos. Bye-bye.